Hey, welcome back. I'm Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day. And these are for all you CISSP wannabes out there who are trying to get your CISSP certification. Let's check that box and move along. So I come at you with two questions at a time. Here come your two questions. All right, question number one. If you take single loss expectancy and combine it with the annualized rate of occurrence, what do you get? There's your answer choices. Click pause if you need to, figure it out. When you're ready, click pay, we'll talk it off. First answer choice says return on investment, and that is not the answer choice that you're looking for. Uh, a return on investment is a measure of uh, the benefits of the investment that you made and uh, how much you made or saved in return as a result of doing that. In this case, it's probably gonna be more geared towards how much did we save uh, by doing this. So that if we hadn't implemented the safeguard or some kind of control that it would have cost us this much, but we put in a safeguard that cost us this much and therefore it didn't cost us this other amount. So you take in the value of what the, uh, the cost was of the safeguard and then you take the corresponding loss and or, or reduction in loss and it's gonna provide you with a return on the investment value. Uh, but none of that is the answer today. Next choice, exposure factor. No, uh, exposure factor is the percentage of an asset that is damaged when an incident occurs or when you actually ha have an exposure. Um, and that is not what we're looking for. Um, exposure factor is always expressed as a percentage and uh, again, is not what is the result of single loss expectancy and annualized rate of occurrence. Risk, not today. How about total cost of ownership? Again, no, uh, total cost of ownership is exactly what the term sounds like. It is the sum total of all the costs associated with a particular safeguard. So um, not what we're looking for here. And that leaves us with our last choice, which is annualized loss expectancy. And that is very much what we're talking about. So if you take an asset and its value, multiply it times its exposure factor, that gives you single loss expectancy. If you then figure out how many times per year that's supposed to occur, we call that the annualized rate of occurrence. If you multiply the annualized rate of occurrence times a single loss expectancy, it's gonna give you your annualized loss expectancy. So SLE times ARO equals ALE. Done. Question number two today, in addition to physical controls and administrative controls, which of these is the other broad category of security controls? Answer, technical controls. Administrative controls, physical controls, technical controls. Okay, combine those three things together in a way that is appropriate and meaningful for your organization and hopefully you eventually get yourself to a quote unquote adequate level of security. What does adequate mean? That's for you to decide. All right, done. Hopefully those questions were fairly straightforward for you today. Um, a little bit lighter fare than some of the wordsmithy stuff that I tend to kind of get into, but um, I'll see you next time. Bye.